acne and make it like skin. Ooh, skin. What? <laughs> Where was that? But that's what we want. Okay, you guys, so we're just gonna pop straight into the video. So as you can see, I am barefaced it and it is for a reason. So I think on this video, I am gonna include brows since I haven't done brows on camera in a while. Neither have I done an update brow tutorial. I honestly don't feel like I need to, but you know, you just never know. We have um, a a few new subscribers hey y'all so i think because of that reason i am going to insert the whole brow transformation so look at these now okay because they are about to be transformed 360 infinity ever transforming <laughs> So, to do my brows, I am going to use the LA Girl Brow Pomade, and this is in the shade Soft Black. And to do this, if I can find my brush, I'm going to use the Morphe E29 brush to uh, do my brows. And this has a slanted brush with a spoolie at the end i love these type of brushes i'm just gonna this is just a regular painter's brush but it has like a flat top on it so i'm gonna use these three items plus some concealer to clean up the brows and i'll just let you know right now i'm using the f16 hour camo concealer in the shade deep cinnamon to clean up my brows so four products well, really five, because then my brow mascara, but I use that at the end. So, let's get jiggy with this, shall we? Or the product, dip it into the brush, make sure it gets nice and deep in there. And then on the back of my hand, I take off the access. That way it can be like, my brush can be flat. And then I am just going to draw a line at the bottom. And then one at the top. And it's up to you how you shape your brows, of course. Just like that. And you see the difference already between this brow and this brow? That's what we want. And then what I'm going to do is with my spoolie, I'm just going to make sure that that product is ev evenly distributed and spread it throughout the brow to help give it its shape. And then I'm going to go and do the same thing with the, br the this brow. So we're going to go from this to this. Mm. You saw that magic? Mm. Next, I am going to use my painter's brush. I believe this came from Walmart. It came in like a set of brushes. But I'm going to use that to clean up my brows and I'm going to just take some of the concealer on the back of my hand and make sure I get the concealer on both sides of that brush but kind of like flat and we're going to clean up the brows.
all I'm going to do is take the rest of what's on the back of my hand and just put it over my eyelid to mute it out because my eyelids are a little bit darker than my skin complexion. So I'm going to take this slanted brush and it's the BH Cosmetics 138 brush. It came in a set and I'm just going to use that because it like the fibers on the brush is packed real tight and I love brushes like this to Stuck myself in the eye. I love to use brushes like this to blend out the concealer on my eyelids and stuff. And even to make sure that that concealer under my eyebrows are nice and blended. Now to clean up the top part of my brow, where is it? I am going to use the F16 Hour Camo Concealer, but I'm going to use the shade Rich Ebony to clean up the top part of my brow. And again, I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand, like such. And I'm going to use that same brush, and I'm just going to clean up the top of my brow because I don't want that halo effect when I go to do the rest of my makeup. And then I'm going to blend this out again. Okay, so even though I put that concealer on my eyes to mute out my eyelids, I am going to use this Benai Clown White. I don't know if y'all can see it, okay? Okay, and I like to use this because it's like nice, thick, and pasty. What I am looking for, let me turn you this way. Because it is nice, thick, and pasty like I need it, and it's not all creamy and stuff. I like for it to have that real thick, sticky, stiff type of consistency. Because for one, then I won't need as much, and then two, I know that those shadows are really going to stick to it. And today I am using, if you can tell by my thumbnail, I am going to be doing a yellow eyeshadow. So I really need for those colors to pop. I am going to use this yellow out of the BH Cosmetics. And it's my Ray Ray palette. And I'm going to use this shade right here. And it is called Canary. But first, I am going to use this shade right here, which is called Brick. So it can be a nice transition between the yellow and, you know, under my eyebrow. So first, I need like a muted color. And for that, I'm going to use my Warrior 2 palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm going to grab this shade right here called Udit. And then I'm going to go into that ooh, stuff jumping out my hand. Then I'm going to go into that shade Canary right here. And let me know, guys, if you like these talk throughs. Because a lot of times I don't like using it. Doing it. I'm sorry, using it. I don't like you doing it because I don't feel like I'm a good explainer. So I'm the type that learns by either doing it or seeing somebody do it a few times and then I can pick it up. But, and because I'm that type of learner, a lot of times I don't know how to explain stuff. Comment below if you're the same way. I don't be knowing how to explain stuff, so. So next, we are going to go into the color Canary, but I want a pencil, a brush, that is going to really pack on that color. And I'm going to use the Wet n Wild brush and I'm sorry it doesn't have any numbers and then when you get up here you want to kind of like start blending it into that shade brick as you can see once I get up here I just start to blend it using gentle swipe emotions and you can see how it just blurs into the color brick that's what we want boo that's what we want and I want to make sure you really see it on this inner tear duct area right here so I'm just packing it there. I'm going to line my bottom lid with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Cold Liner. And this is a shade Baby Got Black. You can skip this step if you want and do mascara. I know a lot of people who just get into makeup hate this part. But it do make a difference. 
Um, but I'm gonna take that shade brick, tap the excess off, and kind of blend it under that liner. Well, I'm going to set my face. You can use whatever spray you got, but I'm using this that I got from Marshalls. And it's the Up All Night Makeup Setting Spray Mattifying by Coop and Daisy. I'm going to set my face. We want to melt down them powders. We don't want to look all powdery. This is going to help transform that face honey and make it like skin ooh skin what <laughs> what was that but that's what we want and you see that sis the power of setting spray and if you do all that I'm telling you to do watch how, how long this face lasts especially if you do that matte primer with the milk of magnesia or the calamine lotion Girl, if you having a birthday party, a wedding, that makeup ain't going nowhere. You hear me? Oh, that's pretty. Uh, yes. Yes, sis. <laughs> Sometimes you got to hype your own stuff. Put a little mascara on my lower lid. Okay, I can't see. And I have a strong feeling that I'm going to mess this up. So let me get a mirror. Same Wet n Wild liner, but this is in the shades... Simmer down, simmer down now. No, simmer brown now. And I'm gonna line the lips. Okay, this is the Morphe Matte Lipstick, and it's in the shade Boo, which is kind of like a peachy nude, and I thought that would be like real cute with the yellow going on. And then remember, I told you guys that I have the brow. I do the brow mascara last. Here we go. And this came in like, I don't do BoxyCharm no more because they had pissed me off and whatever. Um, but it came in my one of my BoxyCharm subscriptions and it came with this wax brow gel stuff. But the only thing I really liked from it was this mascara and as you can see it's real chocolatey and you can really get anyone um i know nyx has one a tinted brow mascara i believe who else quite a bit of brands like if you look online and search brow mascara okay you guys so this is the outfit that i chose to do with the whole yellow eye look which is some cute little booties. It's like leather on the back and then kind of like an elastic across the foot and a little peak toe. And then these cute little leopard pants. And then I just cropped this shirt, but it is like a, you know, a button up dress shirt, but I chose to crop it because I've been really into that style here lately. And I thought it was like real cute. With my little lion accessories from Fashion Over. The pants are from Forever 21. The shirt is, I believe, from Burlington. The purse is from Shein. And the watch, I got as a gift. But yeah, and I just got my hand like two little braids. And a bun in the back. You know, nothing. Or you can throw on your wig. However you feeling for that day. But yeah, I thought this was like a really cute, like a brunch outfit. If you're going out. With your girls or your man and you just want to be a little cute that day you know there you go bow and you can really do the thing so yeah or you can switch it up and i'll show you another outfit but still ties in with the yellow okay or you could have just you know wore your shirt like this down with a cute little bag and again some heels if you're that type of girl or some dress up sandals. You can really do this outfit all sorts of ways, especially with the yellow. So yeah, boo, you got you like another second outfit. You know, maybe that outfit would be your nighttime outfit and this would be your daytime outfit when you're out and about and you may be on a trip. 
with somebody because I heard a few places half opened up for you some ripped up jeans even better make it kind of like vintage a little rustic a little bit your outfit so you can really play it up so don't feel like oh yellow what can I do with that since you can do all sorts of stuff with yellow eyeshadow so okay you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if so you already know what to do Thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and click the bell to be notified each and every time I upload to my current subscribers. Thank you. I love you. And to you guys who are watching who are not subscribed, I hope you've liked my content enough to subscribe and join the family. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Take care. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.